Many people mistakenly call Waukesha a suburb of Milwaukee. Although today, urban development connects the two cities, their births and growth occurred almost simultaneously. Waukesha was settled in the 1830s and by the 1880s had a population of nearly 3,000 people. It was around this time that the Waukesha Water Utility began its work to provide for the growing population. Recently, the two cities established an agreement to ensure that the over 70,000 people who live in the city of Waukesha will have a continuing supply of clean drinking water for years to come. The result of that agreement means that Waukesha is engaging in one of the largest public works projects in the history of Wisconsin. The construction of a 13-mile water supply and a 23-mile water return pipeline. This spring, I met with the general manager of the Waukesha Water Utility, Dan Dukniak, to review the project. The details of the project design are truly amazing. One of the few changes that will be visible when the project is done is a pumping station and two reservoirs on Racine Avenue, southeast of the city. Construction will begin in 2020 and is projected to be complete sometime in 2023. Most of the construction activity that we will see within the city will occur on the south and east sides. Naturally, the project will involve a fair amount of retrofitting current systems as well as redesigning operational processes. In fact, many users may find the water to be much softer than what they are accustomed to. In the legislature, I've been able to help in a number of statutory areas, including allowing for the infrastructure cost to be paid off over a 30-year period instead of 20 years. Given the size of this project, this will help relieve some of the financial burden for current system users. The total value of a project like this can only be viewed through the lens of a 50 or a 100 year time frame. <laughs> Imagine the residents of Waukesha in the 2080s, they'll be glad that we made this investment. For up to date information, people can go to the website greatwateralliance.com. There you can also sign up to receive project newsletters. Teachers, you'll also be happy to know that there's a, a great curriculum resource on the site for you as well.